Hello. Today we are going to talk about due date analysis for open items for vendor invoice. Okay. So here you can just double click on it. Now the the transaction code is here. You can see the transaction code is S underscore A L R underscore eight seven zero one two zero seven eight. Okay, so here now what we have to do is we just execute. Okay, let me give a company code on this company code, and here I execute. And here you can see all the due date analysis. So here you can see all the due dates. See, you can see daily intervals due. So 31 to 60, you have 264 dollars, 61 to 90, and uh, so this is out of the box available now what you can do is general data selection that's what is there now if i click on call up report and here you can see the details now if i go back let me see by posting key and other stuff can i do so if i go by vendor number and i select vendor and if i want to export it so here you can see all this information here so this is the due date calculation due total and all those things are there okay now here if i want let me show you some of the stuff you have you have abc analysis which will probably a uh, uh, position on the cursor probably I'll put the position on the cursor on this and i'll do abc analysis and then not here, probably here. So it's the, the ABC analysis on a column, let's say. So probably I put the ABC analysis here. Mm, okay, on a value column. No wonder it's not working. So I click on here, I click on the value column, and now it says inconsistent value in this list so forget it so we can click on this one and no attributes for due date analysis that's fine and if you want a different number format you know uh, based on yours you can put different formats you want this is very useful and you can download it in an excel okay so this is the drill down position now here if you want if you want to go back uh, do you want to save the data first? No, I don't want to save any data. You can see more than one lead columns. Let's try this one. And here you can see the due date calculations. Okay, so here you can see total open items due, total open items net due, and other stuffs. These are very useful stuffs. And now here, if you want. You have other fields that you can bring in now on the left side we'll just go here we'll select classic drill down and here you can see other stuffs so if you want you can just double click on it this will never display again they will run call up dimensional so i'll need to click on this and i click on double click and it takes me to all the daily intervals and it will take me to that uh, particular report of FPL 1 and so this is very useful and here if you think you can mass change and do whatever you want uh, so here if I click on this I can see the graphic row okay graph row view this is the 3d version okay I don't know what is this that's not doesn't look good so so here also if i want to go back i'll now go back and if you want to put more selection criteria you can put select criteria from here dynamic column so if i click on it and if you want to put created by and all those things you can do there's a bunch of other columns that you can add filter your more your selection so that's it for this tutorial that's we discussed the due date analysis for vendor open items Stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning.